For this example, we want to estimate the force a person must exert on a string attached to a 0.15 kilogram ball to make the ball revolve in a horizontal circle of radius 0.6 meters. The ball makes two revolutions per second, which we could also write as t equals 0.5 seconds, or the period equals 0.5 seconds. Okay, so we're going to write down what we know, which we have the mass equals 0 0.15 kilograms. The radius is 0 0.6 meters. And the frequency is equal to 2.001 over seconds. So if we draw out a free body diagram for this ball, we can see that we have the force of gravity downwards, which is mg, and we have the force of tension towards the middle of the circle. So we're going to write out the equation net force, the sum of all the forces, equals mass times the centripetal acceleration. And what we need to look, do is we need to look at the force that is in the same direction as the acceleration. And as we know, when things are moving in a circle, things the acceleration is towards the center. So that means that the force of tension is going to be in the same direction as the centripetal acceleration, and we can kind of neglect the force of gravity. So the only force we have is the force of tension, which is equal to the mass times the centripetal acceleration, which we will write as mv squared over r. So what we're going to do is we are going to plug in what we know for v, which is that it equals 2 pi r f, and we get m of 2 pi rf squared over r. If we square out those terms, we are going to get m4 pi squared r squared f squared over r. r cancels, and we get the force of tension is equal to 4 pi squared m r f squared, and we can plug in what we know we get 4 pi squared m, which is 0 0.150, r, which is 0 0.6, and then the frequency is 2 squared. And if we plug that into our calculators, we will get 14.2. And since it's a force, we know that the units are going to be newtons.